2015, that, that high press that we've talked so much about wasn't there to the same extent yesterday at all. And Poscoli was so insistent in the week that he would stick to it no matter what, no matter what the situation in the game. What was the difference? Um, I mean, we can see, obviously, with the, the most used players um, this season and, and a pretty settled starting 11, actually, the two centre-backs are quite exposed, you would say, if they were to be 1v1, the full-backs nice and high, and, um, and the forward players, and, um, and especially um, the left-sided midfield player, very, very, very high. I mean, that'll be... Generally, Madison goes into that position um, alongside Son as much as he can. Um, and you can see why that would work when they can press high, win the ball. Um, they are the top team in terms of winning the ball back in the final third per match. And it's because of that change that he's made. Mm. It's been refreshing. It's been exciting. And it wasn't there yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and because of the personnel change, it, it was, it was um, very easy to see the difference. Um, we've got... Um... Oh, I was going to say we've got some other graphics to, to illustrate the, the difference in the, uh, the lack of press yesterday, but we, the technology um, is against us just at the moment. Um, Eric Dyer um, looked quite uncomfortable in a way being asked to play the high language. He hasn't obviously got the pace that, that all of the Tottenham players have, have got. Is he a problem? Is it, will Postacoglu look to his other options? Um, I think he's a de very different player. Um, you know, the, the, the stats there, you know, can just show the difference um, against Wolves. And I think you've got a player in Eric Dyer, lots of experience, but, and Ben Davis, of course, but very different in the profile compared to Van der Ven and Romero, who mm. have got that, gen especially Van der Ven, so quick, great 1v1, Romero, aggressive 1v1, and that's been the difference. And... We don't know, without speaking to Ange Postacoglu, whether he wanted exactly the same. But, Gareth, when you've got defenders, yeah. especially someone like Adaya, and I can, I can understand if he thinks, well, I don't want to be exposed. I, I, can't, I don't want the people who can't wait for me to be exposed 1v1 to, to, to you know, criticise me. I don't want to be left in that position. So is it natural that a defender does that? I, I think, or? Yeah, I think the, there's two things for me. I think Dyer coming in uh, with Van der Ven, he, he actually takes the role on because because Dyer has played with him mm. and they've played really well. But Dyer's gone, I can push higher because I've got Van der Ven. He had nobody yesterday, Dyer. So he's dropped a little bit deeper to protect himself. But I also think Madison not being in the team and Hoiberg coming in in that position, you're swapping somebody who's on the ball getting forward, keeps hold of the ball so you can allow your, your players to squeeze up to Heiberg, who more is a, is a defensive destroyer yeah. midfielder who can pass from deep. So there's a big change there as well for me, you know. So I think that you do feel it on the pitch. You know, when Madison's got it, people used to say to me and, and probably you, Clint, and yeah. we were both runners with the ball. Yeah. When you run with the ball, when you dribble the ball, it, the defence love that because you can get up, they can squeeze up the pitch. Mm. If the ball's turning over constantly quickly, you can't get that squeeze on. And I think yesterday, Madison was as big as Van der Ven not being in the team. We, we've got, we have got um, another graphic to show you that illustrates the, the, the lack of threat that um, Tottenham had yesterday against uh, Wolves. Here we go. Um, that's quite a, You're always, quite a change from... Yeah, but it's always going to be like that, Nick. You're missing James Madison, as yeah. Dino and Gareth just alluded to there. He's been one of the signings of the yeah. season. He makes things happen, gets into pockets. You can see Son is playing as that central figure. He enjoys playing with him because what he does is Madison gets the ball, he'll get on his bike. They were, obviously, he had Brenda Johnson who scored. It was good for him. And they had Kuliseski. He's been outstanding on that right-hand side. But sometimes it's been Richarlison there. But they miss Madison. He's the key. They miss Madison. But they are going to miss the two centre-backs as well, Romero and Van der Veen. That is why they play a high line because those two are quick enough. Because you see in Doggy and Poro, they're up front. They're, they're playing like right wingers. So that's how he'll play. And he said it, see in his interview after Chelsea, I'm not going to change even if I have five players on the pitch. I'm still going to play a high line. So if you're a player at Tottenham, you have to adapt to that. But I do believe they are struggling there with Madison. The one thing they do have is Benton Core, who's a good player who's coming back to fitness. Could he maybe go to that position? But then I think Basuma picks up a booking yesterday. So now he's suspended for the next game. So they've got a lot of... This is where Tottenham will be tested. This I is where football's next, so yeah, good, isn't it? Then, no exactly. <laughs> Look, it's not... If you're exactly. Dyer and Dave, that is not easy. Exactly. To, it's not easy to accept mm. that you're going to have to put yourself yeah. in a very vulnerable position time and time again. Mm. That is... I think that is difficult for a, it is, for a player that, used to it. when you know your strength isn't that, yeah. to, to, to want to do that. Now, is that because, you know, the recruitment side of it needed to do even more to make sure if there was injuries, yeah. it maybe wasn't Eric Dyer that, that's the player that comes in, or if he does, mm. 
you maybe you need to adapt the way the way you go into play. I've got massive empathy for Postacoglu because when you cannot pick your best players or the team that you've worked with, it changes, and that's the beauty of football. Yeah. When you the best players are missing, when they're suspended, when they're injured, and you've got to you cannot play the same. You can, it's impossible. You've got different players now, so he want to play the same style, but there might be a few slight tweaks to it. Listen. It's one game. Let's not chuck mm. the baby yeah. out with a bat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, and it's you got one Romero game, so, yeah. coming back in two games, and then Doggy's back yeah. next game. And so. Eddie Howe's got the, the same problem. You haven't got quite the squad oh, depth yeah. that everybody yeah. else is. Yeah, That's why Manchester City always win the league. Trippier will tell you all about they've that. Got the, they've got the. <laughs> sure, we'll talk about that later on, Nick. We will. 